In this video we're going to do example 1 and we're going to round the following numbers as indicated by the brackets. So let's look at question A where it wants us to round 47 to the nearest 10. And you'll notice that 10 has one zero in it. So we want to round such that our number has one zero at the end. Okay, so when we look at 47, we want to round it so that it is either 40 or so that it's 50. And the reason for that is it's either going to be four tens or five tens, hence rounding it to the nearest 10. And looking at this, 47 is got to be closer to 50. So we'll write 50. Looking at question B, once again, rounding it to the nearest 10, which means because 10 has one zero, we need to have one zero at the end. So we're going to round 324 to either 320 or if we round it up, it would become 330. Notice that we've got 32 tens or 33 tens. Now, 324 is closer to 320. So that's our solution there. Okay, moving on to question C. This time, you'll notice it says to the nearest 100, which has two zeros. So our solution should have two zeros at the end. Okay, so if it's going to have two zeros at the end, it's either going to be 400 or 500. Notice that we've got four hundreds or five hundreds, hence why we say to the nearest hundred. And 492 out of these two numbers is closer to 500. So it's approximately 500. Question D now says to the nearest 100. So it needs to have two zeros, meaning it would either be 1200 or 1300. So which, one's it, which one of these is it? Um, 1249 or 1249 is approximately equal to 1200 because that's the number it is closer to. Anyway, that concludes example one.